Hi everyone and welcome back to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the domestic reverse charge uh, on the construction industry scheme for free agent. Uh, as you can see we're logged into the dashboard on free agent but before we continue uh, please subscribe to the page. Please like the video if you found it informative and it helped you. Please also drop a comment if you have any questions or if you just to say, yeah, great, thank you. That saved me a load of time. Today's video is going to be looking at the subcontractor side and then there'll be another video for contractors. Uh, I just like to separate it like with all my videos on the CI scheme just to make it clear um, just the slight differences between uh, a contractor and a subcontractor. So as you can see, we're in our dashboard. So what we need to do is we need to activate the codes, the reverse charge, and then we need to create an invoice and what we need to put on the invoice uh, just to be in line with HMRC guidelines. So as you can see, we're in the overview. So if we now go to our settings, so if we go over here and then go to settings, um, now to activate, Free Agent does it slightly differently to other softwares. So what we need to do is go to VAT registration and Free Agent want you to use do you need to use VAT rates other than the standard UK ones? Yes, you do. Uh, so you tick the X box, click on Save Changes. Now, what we need to do is create a invoice. So we go to Invoicing, add a new invoice, ABC Construction, uh, invoice reference date, payment terms, CIS category, income at 20%. And then we need to select down the bottom, reverse charge. Okay. So that's what you need to select to be able to initiate the reverse charge. So if we create a new invoice, then we add an item and we say days, five days. Okay, so we do five days labor. But then we need to add some extra text when you're typing. And the text we need to add is in this format, rate of VAT, whatever the percentage is, so if it's 5% or 20%, and customer to pay VAT to HMRC. Okay. What I would do in this instance is that's what you need to write in your invoice. But what I would do is do one day X number of days add this to your price list and just do CIS labor create and finish okay I'll do five days for this one create and finish and the reason why I'm saying that is because I need to edit it because I need to put a price in. Okay. The reason why I'm saying that is, is when you come to do this again, it's all pre-saved. So what I'd actually do is do one that says 5%. Okay. Add this to your price list. So I labor 5% create and finish right now I can get rid of that one because I don't need that one there but when I go to add another item I've got the two there and it's already been worked out for me so it's not a problem and also I've got the text in there that I need to okay so that's what I would tell you to do going forward um, and then you just alter the five days, the four days, three days, whatever it is, and obviously put the amount in. So that's what I would tell you to do on this invoice. But also you can see at the bottom it says reverse charge supplies are uh, applicable. So this is very, very simple, £1,000, 20% deduction, £800 due. But that will deal with the VAT um, as needed. So let's just look at the VAT just so we can see so if we go to this one you can see here total sales student outputs a thousand pounds so it's included in there for you okay so it's very very simple 
uh, very very easy it just is it's slightly different where you have to put that extra bit of text in uh, compared to the likes of zero or quickbooks um, but again doesn't fall foul of any rules keeps you compliant with hmrc so if hmrc ever look into your books you can say that you've applied it correctly and everything else through your software so that's it for today so please like i said at the start subscribe to the page um, here at list tax pay we like to know what videos we're doing uh, and whether they're informative for people and people are getting on with the content i know we haven't uploaded videos for a long time uh, but we have got new content coming every week uh, around all these different softwares so the likes of free agent zero quickbooks we're introducing sage online uh, sage business cloud um, cash flow um, receipt bank which is now called dext um, so we'll be doing videos all around them and like i said drop a comment just to, even if you're just saying thank you that helped me or you have any questions also like the video um, if you found it informative and it helped you and it saved you time that's what these videos are for to help save you time rather than you searching scouring the internet and trying to find what you're looking for these videos are very very simple to get you to the point and what you're looking for so until next time be safe and we'll see you soon